Hi everyone, video solution to the sample paper given by the board for 22 term 2 CBSE class 10 math standard version of the paper. This is from the chapter applications of trigonometry. Two questions, one is a section B question with an internal choice, the other is a section C question which is a case study based question. Rather straightforward interesting questions, right? Let's get started. As we are reading information, let's quickly draw a diagram here, which we'll anyway have in the subsequent slides where we'll be solving the question. But as we glean information, let's just put them down and make sense out of it. Right. Two vertical poles of different heights are standing 20 meters away from each other. I'll draw this. There's one pole here, different height, a second pole here. The difference in the distance, the distance between them is equal to 20 meters, right? On the ground level, so both of them are on the ground level. The angle of elevation of the top of the first pole from the foot of the second is 60 degrees. And the angle of elevation of the top of the second pole from the foot of the first pole is 30 degrees. Right? Look at it. Is this from one pole's foot, we are looking at the top of the other one. And from the other one, we are looking at the top of the second. This is the tops and these are the bottoms. Which is going to be 60 degrees, which is going to be 30 degrees. The more vertical it is, the taller that we are going to look at something else is going to be the one which is going to have a higher angle of elevation. So to the top of this pole, what we are looking at is going to be 60 degrees. The shorter pole, what we are looking at is going to be equal to 30 degrees. So we'll have this diagram better drawn in a printed form in the next slide. So this is what we have. What are they asking us to find out? They're asking us to find out the difference in the heights of these two poles. The height of the first pole, the taller one, the height of the second pole, the difference in these two heights is what we are trying to find out. So if I draw a line parallel to the ground, this is the part we are interested in finding out. Quickly see it in the next slide. AB is the taller pole, PQ is the shorter pole. From the bottom of the taller pole to the top of the shorter pole, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. And from the top, bottom of, from the foot of the shorter pole to the top of the taller pole, the angle of elevation is 60 degrees, given. Height of the taller pole we said is AB, height of the shorter pole is equal to PQ. The difference in the heights therefore is going to be equal to AB minus PQ. PQ and BC are one and the same. So essentially, this is what we are trying to find out. AB minus BC is what our interest is. Let's get started. Let's find out the height of the taller pole, which is AB. Let's find out the height of the shorter pole, PQ subsequently, and then compute the difference between these two and have the answer after that, right? I'm going to start with the right triangle, right? This is the right triangle. Starting with the right triangle, ABQ. This is the right triangle we are interested in. The angle of elevation is basically angle AQB. This is the angle we are talking about. This is equal to 60 degrees. We'll come to that. To this angle, the opposite side is AB, which is the height of the pole. AB is the opposite side. And to this angle, BQ is the adjacent side. And look at it, we have the measure of the adjacent side is equal to 20 meters. We have an angle, which is 60 degrees. We know one of the sides, we need to find out the other side. The two sides involved in this question are opposite side and adjacent side. So we're going to be using the trigonometric ratio tan, which is basically the ratio between the opposite and adjacent side. So tan of AQB, which is tan 60 degrees, is equal to the opposite side AB divided by the adjacent side BQ. Tan 60 we know is equal to root 3. So this is equal to AB divided by BQ is a 20. So the measure of AB is equal to 20 root 3 meters. So this entire height, the height of the taller pole is 20 root 3 meters. Part 1 is done. Let's quickly go to triangle BQ, PQB, right? In triangle PQB, right, this is a triangle we are talking about. This angle is equal to 90 degrees. The angle I'm interested in is angle PBQ, which is equal to 30 degrees. To this angle, PQ is the opposite side, which is what we want to find out the height of the shorter pole. And BQ is obviously the adjacent side. To this angle, this is the adjacent side. So which trigonometric ratio will we be looking at? Again, same tan. So tan of angle 30 degrees, which is PBQ, this is equal to the opposite side PQ divided by the adjacent side BQ. Tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. This is equal to PQ is what we are trying to find out. BQ is equal to a 20. Cross multiply, you will get the value of PQ to be equal to 20 divided by root 3. Right. So we need to find out AB minus PQ. What is AB? 20 root 3. What is PQ? 20 by root 3. So let's find out the height, the difference in the height AC is therefore equal to AB minus PQ given here, which is 20 root 3 minus 20 divided by root 3. 
root 3 as a common denominator. 20 root 3 times root 3 is 20 into 3, 60 minus 20 by root 3, which is equal to a 40 root 3, sorry, 40 by root 3. Right. So, this is what we have as the answer, right? Pretty straightforward, easy question, right? Move on from here. As I had mentioned, this question has an internal choice. So, let us look at the second one. A boy 1.7 meters tall is standing on a horizontal ground. As I had done with the last one, here again, let us draw. This is the boy we are talking about. He is standing on ground. His height is 1.7 meters, 50 meters away from a building. So, this is the building we are talking about. The distance between the foot of the building and the boy is 50 meters. The angle of elevation of the top of the building from his eye level eye level, right? this is the eye level, which is practically the height of the boy, right? So, at 1.7 meters height, if you are looking at the angle of elevation, this angle of elevation works out to 60 degrees is what they are saying. What we need to find out is the height of the building, which is this entire height. And they have said take root 3 to be equal to 1.73. We will use it to get the final answer. Quickly run through the same diagram in a printed form here. CD is the boy whose height is 1.7 meters. At his eye level, he is looking at the top of the building and this angle of elevation which is angle ACB is equal to 60 degrees. We need to find out what we are interested in finding out is AE is equal to what? Actually, if you look at it, AE is nothing but AB plus B, this part plus this. BE is equal to CD, BE is equal to CD. So, what we are trying to find out is AB plus CD which is AB plus 1.7 meters. So, all that we need to do is find out the measure of AB. Do we know something? ED is equal to BC. ED is equal to BC. So, that is equal to 50 meters. Now, look at right triangle. In right triangle ABC, right? In this right triangle, for angle ACB, which is the angle given to us, AB is the opposite side and BC is the adjacent side. So, we are trying to find out the opposite side. We know the measure of the adjacent side and we know an angle. Opposite side, adjacent side, the trigonometric ratio we are going to be using is a tan. So, let us compute tan of 60 degrees. Tan 60 degrees is equal to the opposite side AB divided by the adjacent side BC. So, this is equal to root 3, which is equal to AB, which is what we are trying to find out. BC is equal to ED, we said. Therefore, this is equal to 50 meters. So, AB is equal to 50 root 3. 50 into 1.73 is what we will have to find that out as. 1.7 into 50 is equal to 85. 1.03 into 50. 0.3 into 50 is 15. 0.03 is a 1.5. So, this is going to translate to 85 plus 1.5. 86.5 is what I have. So, this is equal to 86.5. This component is 1.7. So, the measure of AE is equal to 86.5 plus 1.7, which is equal to 88.2 meters. This question, because the question is explicitly said, take root 3 is equal to 1.73. Do not stop at 50 root 3 plus 1.5. Compute the answer and give it finally as an 88.2, right? Done. So, second variant is also done. I think in terms of calculation, the second choice was a wee bit easier than the first one. Here, we are moving into section C question. This is the case study based question. Quickly get started. This is random data, general data. Read it for fun sake. Not important for the solving the question. Look at this. This is where the information starts. A guard stationed at the top of a 240 meter tower, right? Again, let us quickly draw as we, this is a 240 meter tower. The guard is stationed on top of it. Observed an unidentified boat coming towards it. The boat is somewhere here, unidentified boat. He is seeing the boat moving towards this tower. A clinometer or inclinometer is an instrument used for measuring angles. The guard used the clinometer to measure the angle of depression to be equal to 30 degrees. So, this angle that he has measured is equal to 30 degrees is what we have. So, this is the data we have. Height of the tower is 240 meters. The angle of depression of this boat from the tower is equal to 30 degrees, right? We have to find out two things. First one, find out the distance of the boat from the foot of the observation tower when the angle of depression is 30 degrees. Second part, after 10 minutes, he finds that the boat was approaching the tower and its distance from the tower is reduced by 240 into root 3 minus 1. It is closer, right? When he observed initially, it was here. This is where 
the angle of depression was equal to 30 degrees. 10 minutes later, he is finding it closer to the tower. It's moved in this direction. How much closer? It's traveled a distance of 240 into root 3 minus 1 meters. At this point, right, the question is now asking us to find out the angle of depression at this point. Right? So we know what the questions are asking us to do. Quickly, let's draw these diagrams properly in a printed form. Solve questions starting from part 1. Right? So this is the, they've given us an image of a lighthouse and a tower, observation tower. Right? So we're looking at first part. This is when he's first observing this boat. The angle of depression is equal to 30 degrees. Height of the tower is equal to 240. What we need to find out is how far is the boat from the foot of the tower. BC is what we are trying to find out. We know that angle of depression is equal to angle of elevation. So angle ACB is going to be equal to 30 degrees. So I'm going to look at right triangle ABC. In right triangle ABC to angle ACB, which is angle 30 degrees, AB is the opposite side. And BC, which we are trying to find out, is the adjacent side. Opposite side value is known to us. Angle is known to us. So let's use the trigonometric ratio that combines these two, which is tan. So tan of angle ACB, which is tan 30 degrees, is equal to AB, which is 240, divided by BC, which is what we are trying to find out. So 1 upon root 3 is the value of tan 30, is equal to 240 divided by BC. Cross multiply both these terms. So what we have is BC is equal to 240 root 3 meters. So when he is observing for the first time, the boat is 240 root 3 meters away from the foot of the tower. Part 1 is done. Let's move on to part 2. Now the boat has moved closer. We have computed BC to be equal to 240 root 3 meters. Part 1. Let's say when he is observing it after 10 minutes, the boat is at point D. How much closer has it moved? The distance it has travelled in this duration is 240 times root 3 minus 1. So now at this point, can we find out how far is the boat from the base of the tower? Yes, we can find out. When he is looking at it the second time, right? BD is nothing but BC minus CD. The distance it has travelled. BC minus CD. BC is equal to 240 root 3. And CD is equal to 240 into root 3 minus 1. 240 root 3 minus 240 root 3 will get cancelled. Minus of minus 240 is what we will be left with, which is equal to 240 meters. So we found out BD to be equal to 240 meters. Now, we know AB, we know BD, this is the right triangle. So we can obviously find out the measure of angle ADB. Is that what we are interested in? No, we are interested in finding out the angle of depression. The angle of depression, what do we have to find out is basically angle will take this to be equal to, let's say, an A, B, C, D, E will take, right? We are interested in angle E, A, D. Angle E, A, D is what we are trying to find out, which is your angle of depression when the boat is at point D. Now, the angle of depression is equal to angle of elevation. So, E, A, D, angle E, A, D, obviously is going to be the same as the angle of elevation at this point, which is going to be equal to angle ADB. Angle ADB, if we find out, we have found out what we are trying to find out. To angle ADB, we will call it as theta. Opposite side is AB. To angle, we will give these names. Right. This is what we are trying to find out, theta. Right. To angle, this is, sorry, D. D. To angle ADB, AB is the opposite side and BD is the adjacent side. So obviously we are going to be using tan. We found out BD if you look at it in this case to be equal to a 240. So let's not clutter this diagram. So this is 240, this is 240. So tan of angle ADB is equal to AB the opposite side divided by BD the adjacent side which is 240 divided by 240 which is equal to 1. Tan of some angle is equal to 1. What is the measure of the angle? We know tan 45 is equal to 1. Therefore, it is quite evident that angle ADB is equal to 45 degrees. And therefore, angle EAD, which is what we are trying to find out, the angle of depression, that is also equal to 45 degrees. So, computed the answer to both parts. First, what is the measure of the distance when he first observed the boat? Second, we know the boat has travelled 240 times root 3 minus 1. 
at that point what is the angle of depression is what we needed to find out so 240 root 3 is the initial distance 45 degrees is the second angle of depression before you leave i want you to do two things one sign up at online.maxitude.com to get started with cbc class 10 math online tuitions it takes all of 5 minutes and less than 3 steps to get started and second thing i want you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates